Hey guys, this will be my video for the trading post activity, which requires the defeat of the Master Tamers in Pandaria, starting with Farmer Nishi. So I took this as an opportunity to come up with some new teams because the last time I revisited these Tamers was in 2014. So in my first slot, I have the Mallard Duckling with Water Jet, Dive, Pump. Next up is the Hungry Burrower with Deep Bite, Swarm, Nash. And finally, the Death Adder Hatchling, which is a Power Speed Breed. The abilities are Vicious Fang, Puncture Wound, and Blinding Poison. Starting with Pump. Dive. Pump again. Mm, nice. Sometimes you'll need a water jet to finish him off. So since the second pet has come in, I'm going to switch to my second pet. And use Swarm. So even though he's submerged, he won't be taking any damage from this, but you only need to have one round going. Which is right here. It's Nash. Deep Bite. Set up Swarm again. So you'll see now he's taking some damage from this. You swarm again. So once again, he's underground, so you won't get. Okay, so now you're going to start with blinding poison. Puncture Wound, Vicious Fang, one more time, for this next team I'll be using the Iron Starlet which is a health power breed, the abilities are wind up, Powerball Supercharge. Next up is the Nexus Whelpling, which is a Power Balance breed. The abilities are Tail Sweep, Mana Surge, Arcane Storm. Finally, I have the Living Sandling, which is a Power Balance breed. The abilities are Sand Bolt, Sand Storm, and Quicksand. So to start, I'm using Wind Up. Supercharge, wind up again, this works out well because he is slower so you're not wasting any ability here, then I'm going to use one round of Powerball for that first hit, And then switch to my second pet. Arcane Storm. Mana Surge.
And I'm just going to take this last hit before I bring in my last pet. Set up Sandstorm. Oh, almost. And Sambolt. And there you go. For this next team, I'll be using the Coastal Sandpiper, which is a power speed breed. The abilities are Peck, Block, Quicksand. Next up is the archetype of Vigilance with Pump, Shell Fortress, Dive. Finally, the Iron Starlet, which is a health power breed using Wind Up, Power Ball, and Supercharge. To start, I'll be using Flock. And then Peck. Quicksand. Dive. And pump again. Finally, with my last pet, wind up. Supercharge. And wind up. Next team, I'll be using Chuck with Rip, Surge, Blood in the Water. If you don't have this Crocolisk, you can use any of the others. They all have the same abilities. Next up is the Little Bad Wolf which is a power balance breed. The abilities are Claw, Dodge, Pounce. Finally, I have the Parrot, which is a double balance breed using Slicing Wind, Adrenaline Rush, and Liftoff. To start, I'm using Rip. Blood in the Water. Surge. Surge again. Rip. Surge. Blood in the water. I'll likely die. Oh, I didn't. Okay. Well, ordinarily I would use, I was going to say Vincent, but the little bad wolf to finish him off. Okay, I'm just going to use Pounce here. It's very close. And, oh, never mind. Okay. So I'm just going to switch to my last pet. I'll use Adrenaline Rush to start. Slicing Wind.
Oh, he put me to sleep. Lift off. Slicing wind. For Courageous Yawn, this one's a little bit tricky, especially if you haven't been here before because it's kind of hidden away. So if you look at the map, head towards these mountains here. For this next team, I'll be using Criminius with Arcane Explosion, Al, Surge of Power. Next up is the Little Bad Wolf, which is a Power Balance Speed. The abilities are Claw, Dodge, Pounce. And finally, the Iron Starlet, which is a Health Power Breed using Wind Up, Power Ball, and Supercharge. So, starting with Hal. You can either pass here or hit Arcane Explosion, doesn't really matter. Then you can hit Surge. This should take out the first pet. So while this pet is recovering, you're just going to leave him in. Basically you want him to take this big hit. And you can use Hal here because he's slower so it won't be wasted. Then you're going to switch to your second pet. Floor. Whoa! Okay. I don't normally use or see a big crit there, but usually you would need to use Claw, Pounce. That is, you know, generally what you would see. If you do need to use another ability, you can hit Claw again and that should take him out. But since the third pet has now come in, I'm going to switch to my last guy. Just wind up. Supercharge. And wind up. There you go. Greetings. May your days bring you joy. For this team, I'll be using Criminius with Arcane Explosion, Howl, Surge of Power. Next up is the Iron Starlet, which is a Health Power Breed using Wind Up, Power Ball, Supercharge. Finally, I have the Amber Moth with Alpha Strike, Cocoon Strike, Moth Dust using a Power Speed Breed. To start, I'll be using Howl. Search. Once again, I want him to take the big hit, and you can use how once more because you're slower. And I'm going to switch to my second pet. I want to make use of that last Howl. I'm just going to use Power Ball here. Wind up. You don't need to use Supercharge because he's already low enough to use the Wind Up again. And so now I'm just going to switch to my last pet. I'm going to hit him with Moth Dust. Alpha Strike. 
Whether he gets put to sleep or not doesn't really matter because he's the last pet, he won't get switched out. Alpha Strike. And there you go. Hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.